of, of Judges chapter 4, and then the next chapter, chapter 5, is a psalm of praise for what God has done. And Deborah is, is reciting a psalm of praise, and it gives us more insight to what actually happened that day. So I'm going to be referring to 5 off and on throughout this, because we're just going through 4. Understand the day. It says, in the days of Shangar, Shamgar, son of Anak, in the days of Jael, people avoided the main roads. The travelers stayed on windy paths. There was few people left in the villages of Israel, yet not a shield or spear could be seen among 40,000 warriors in Israel. People avoided the main roads. Now this is an... You, the only reason you avoid main roads is if you're scared of main roads. The main thoroughfares, I mean, and we talked about how they harshly oppressed Israel. I mean, you could just imagine any kind of thing. Somebody walks by, I don't like you, kill them. What are you going to do? I mean, that's harshly oppressed. Steal everything they have from them. Take their kids. Like, this is harshly oppressive. So they avoided the main roads. They went on, you know, the roundabout roads where they're not seen. It also says um, few people were in the villages. Why? Because the villages weren't safe. Because they were constantly raided. So they'd have to kind of go off these sparse areas. This was not a good situation. And you assess it. This was a bad situation as a result of the consequences of worshipping Baal and Ashtoreth. And you couldn't even fight back. It says the warriors didn't even have shields or spears. How do you mount an army without shields or spears? You can't fight those chariots. What do you got, like a little knife? I got a little knife, I got you. You, know, you can't do it. This was a dark time from the consequences of their sin. But it's interesting, in verse 3 it says that Israel cried out. It wasn't one or two Israelites. Israel cried cried out corporately. They no longer cried to Baal or Asherah, the gods of the Canaanites. They cried out to Jesus, which they didn't know who Jesus was. They cried out to the Lord, who we find out later is Jesus, because it's the Old Testament. So Lord, where's my assignment? Today, this week, this year. Make that be your prayer. Lord, what is my assignment? You see, Israel has been failing for 20 years. Israel had assignments, and they refused them. God says, obey me, follow me, I got great things in store for you. And like, nope, we're following Baal and Asher, because they, they got better stuff for us. And as a result, there's consequences for 20 years, harshly oppressed. They didn't listen to God. They became deaf to God. What about you? What is your situation like right now? Are you living in those 20 years of feeling the consequences of not following the Lord? Are you, are you too busy doing other things? Well, I, I'm, I'm just so busy. I'm working 80 hours a week, and I, then I got home, and I got to take care of the house, and I got to do this. I don't really have time for the Lord. You know, that's just get pastors. You know, they could do that kind of Lord stuff, and, and I, I'm just so consumed. Maybe you're chasing after other things. Maybe you're chasing after things that you desire more than God. And you're missing out on the very things God has for you. Maybe you've just been so numb and cold for years. Maybe it's like, yeah, I followed the Lord for a while, and then things just kind of happen. It just kind of slowly fade away, and I'm numb, and I'm cold, and any kind of inkling of going to the Lord, I'm like, eh. And instead, I consume myself with keeping myself busy, running into this thing, and that thing, and this thing, and this thing, and that thing, this relationship, and this social media, and this new achievement in my job. And this way to feel good about myself. This addiction. And we run to these things. And we worship these things. And we wind up in a mess. And all of a sudden you look back and say, how did I get here? How, why am I feeling the consequences I'm feeling? There's a reason for it. Because we've walked away from the assignments God has for us. God desires you to have a fulfilling life. He has a purpose for you every day. If we're willing to surrender and say, Lord, not what I want today, what you want, Lord Jesus. And when we surrender that on a daily basis, we could hear from him. And he'll help us avoid those major consequences from our sin. But we have to be willing to do that. Lord, what is my assignment today, this week? this year. Be prayerful about that. We had to first assess the situation. 
The next point, we need to understand your assignment. So you assess where you're at, what's going on in your life, maybe who are the people around you, what's your situation, all those different things. And then you need to understand your assignment. Let's keep reading. Verses 4 through 5. Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, was judging Israel at that time. And she would sit under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the mountains of Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. So we have a new character. And her name is Deborah. And she had these nice palm trees. The palms, you get your palm trees named after you. It's pretty cool. She's a palms of Deborah. And it's, it's, it's a, you know, she needs some shade because it's hot. And so she would be there and it's cold. She was a judge. So people all over Israel would come. And if they had a dispute, they would go to her and she would help them with the dispute. But she wasn't also a judge. She also had the title of prophetess, which is unusual for a judge in the book of Judges. Which means just like a prophet, a female version, that God would speak to her directly for a message 